Hey y'all, welcome back to the Smith Family Ranch. <laughs> what are we doing today? Today we're going to show you how we load our cattle stress-free. We are taking a steer to somewhere where you guys are very familiar with. And... Um, so we gotta load that steer up, deliver it to them, and we're gonna show you how to reload in a stress-free way so that the cow or the steer wants to get up into the trailer. And it's their idea, and we're not pushing them hard. We're not poking, prodding, smacking, Getting electric upset. rods, nothing like that. So we'll show you guys what we do. Back it up. I need somebody to be on that side of that tree by the trailer. So I know if I've gone too far. Come this way. This way. So you're right in front of the tree. You're doing good. Hang on. Do you want us to put the fence down? Yeah. Can we put... Never mind. Fencing? 
underneath the trailer so that he doesn't think that it's a All right, so what we're going to need to do is baby boy and the, the steer going in first, but we can try to shake the other ones off. So you're going to have to get on that side. Okay. Keep going all the way over. Don't use it all, honey. Oh, they're coming in. Yep. Look well, because we did feed them. Go in there and call them. Do you want to dump a little or no? In no, the truck? They're not on the trailer, bud. No, oh, okay. Come on. Just put it down just a little bit on the ground. Small ones right there. Well, yeah, I know, Hunter. Jamie won't. Ah. All right, back up. Come on, baby boy. All right, call now. Come on. Hey. Come on. That is just scary. Hunter? Okay, I'm gonna sort them through, get ready. Shut the gate, shut the gate. Okay, now give me this one and pull it. Hey, <laughs> hey, turn it. It's okay. All right, I need this gate. And I pull this gate forward. This gate, yeah, go ahead and let him out. See if you can let him out. Pull him out. Go ahead, go. Okay, don't let him out. I wasn't in the way. Easy. That was really easy. Yeah. Yeah, it is when you do it right. All right, I'll go feed them. Go feed them. You're good. Okay. All right, so don't know if we caught it on camera. Because I was in the way. But no stress, no yelling, no nothing. It's just letting the cow think it's his or hers idea. And if you don't have cattle panels, these are the best things that you could buy if you don't have a big chute to be able to uh, sweep them into. But, or a good chute. Yeah. Or a convenient chute. Um, <laughs> but you just use these as like a squeeze pin. So once you get the cow or cows that you have isolated, is you just slowly start shrinking their space so the only way that they have is to go into there. But by doing that, it's their idea to jump up in there. It's not you pushing, it's not you whipping or prodding. prodding or anything like that. It's literally them thinking it and you just move slowly. Luckily this cat, this steer, he hopped right up in there. I think it's because one of the other steers was trying to get up there first, but either way, you used to what you can as your advantage. So that would, might be other cows that do it first, jump mm -hmm. down. Um, but you shrink their space is what we do, just slightly, not dramatically. But we, 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 we shrink it, we stop. We let them normal. look around and they might freak out for just a second, but then everybody else calms down. And then you let the, let the cow or steer or bull calm down and then you shrink it again. And then, you know, he still might freak out or she might freak out again. 
and then everybody just calm down and then you just keep doing that that same process and keep shrinking it until eventually he or she just hops up in there and it's all stress-free because yeah. we stay calm mm -hmm. he freaks out or she freaks out maybe once or twice just because not knowing what's going on she's being separated he's being separated from the herd so not knowing exactly what's going on but yeah you did a good job and it didn't <clears> take us very long no um, at all when you do it right it shouldn't take you very long it's not like loading pigs <laughs> so all righty well that's how you load a cow steer bull that's how you load cattle stress-free into a trailer um, at least that's how we do it uh, with the limited equipment that we have yeah and it works <laughs> and it works cattle panels are probably one of if you have cattle is probably yeah one of the best investments that you can make we have used these as pens yeah for baby boy actually when he was a baby and we were calf sharing liberty oh yes for liberty when um <coughs> mama. when dibs wasn't really acting like a mama we weren't sure we we we'll post that video we yes we um we made a makeshift pen we've used them multiple times to get the cows in so these have been these have proved to be a very good investment for us on the homestead they're yeah, movable in the, in the pen the working pen when we got to work oh, the yes. cattle <laughs> because our working <coughs> pen is not very good and this is exactly how we use it with the working cattle yeah we try to be as stress-free as possible and we just shrink their their availability to where they only have one way to go mm -hmm. and we use these because our as you guys know our working pen isn't yes. the isn't greatest great. so it helps this these cattle panels totally help oh yeah they're they, a life they've been great they've been a really good investment yep so all righty well give this video a like subscribe to us if you haven't already and comment down below on what you guys think we'll talk to you guys on the next time yep Hey, that was easy.